A recent arrival into the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. Are wrapped inside as well. Can't put that out of the way. It's the Vickers aiming lamp, an Australian version. This bit fits onto the 07 pattern or 03, 07 pattern bayonet. With its pull cord toggle to turn it on and off. Presumably battery box with spare lenses, spare lamps in there as well, spare lenses. And all carried in a very neat little pouch. Belt buckles, C clips for the 37 pattern belt and uh, for a one inch strap as well so it can be slung over the shoulder. There we go. This is something that had developed uh, demands from the machine gun battalions in the Australian military forces. The war diaries document the development phase of this quite nicely. So the Australians developed this so that the they didn't have to carry the Mark III aiming lamp post or well, the lamp in the wooden box. Simply fits in there and then fits in the uh, bit pommel and uh, of the bayonet. And then that would be stuck into the ground. There's then a small uh, wire hook here that would be attached to the other end of this that would be used to turn it on and off from the gun position, about 30 yards away, just like a normal aiming lamp. That then just unclips like so. Inside, obviously there's no batteries in there, maybe we'll get it working at some point. But really nice piece of specific Australian equipment. As I've always said, and I'll continue to say, the Australians are ingenious with how they use the Vickers machine gun, and this is just another example of that. So the UK equivalent, or the standard equivalent, was the Mark III aiming lamp, which consisted of this post, which folds, uh, can be used without the lamp itself for daytime firing, but then with the lamp that had to be connected to a box with the battery terminals, and it had the coil and the piece of string that operated the switch, uh, the push, uh, the pull switch there to turn the lamp on and off. It could be stamped into the ground and then the chain inside uh, it comes out and can be looped around a tree or a post or something like that. But this would stay, the box would stay in the gun position, the lamp would be placed out to the front. So the Australian lamp just has the simple lamp connected to the bayonet that would be stuck into the ground ahead of the gun and leading back would be the coil of string connected to the loop on the front of the lamp and then all you would have is the pouch and the, uh, the battery pack, the, the replacement batteries, nothing needed to go forward. So it's considerably less than what would be carried otherwise. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.